Hi. Today, I have taken by mode number pattern. So, we will identify the logic behind this number pattern and we will also try to find the next three terms of the pattern. So, as we know, the first step is to find the differences between two consecutive terms. So, if I find the difference between two consecutive terms, so the difference between 6 and 5, 6 minus 5, which is equal to 1. The difference between third term and the second term, which is 10 minus 6, is equal to 4. And the difference between fourth term, which is 19, and the third term, 10, is equal to 9. And difference between fifth term, which is 35 in this case, and 19, which is actually the fourth term, is equal to 16. Okay, so we have found the differences between two consecutive terms and the difference between first and second term is 1, third and second term is 4, fourth and third term is 9, and fifth and fourth term is 16. So, I know you can understand that these differences are nothing but 1 square, 1 is actually 1 square, 4 is the square of 2, 9 is the square of 3 and 16 is the square of 4. So, difference is actually increasing as the square of natural numbers, right? So, how to identify the next three terms? Since this is 35, until here, difference was square of 4. So, here the difference will be square of 5. So, the sixth term will be 35 plus square of 5, that is 25, which is equal to 60, right? And similarly, T7 will be 60 plus square of 6, 6, 6, 36. 60 plus 36 is 96. And the 8th term, that is T8, will be 96, which is T7, plus square of 7. 7, 7 is a 49. So if we add 96 and 49, we will get 9 plus 6 is 15. 1 carry forward, 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 4, 14. So, 8th term will be 145. This will be 60, 96, and 145. Right? So, as we have already noted, to find the 6th term, we are actually finding the square of 5 and adding it to the 5th term. Find the seventh term, we are finding the square of 6 and adding that to the sixth term, which we have found over here. Right? Similarly, to find the eighth term, we are taking the seventh term and adding it to the square of 7. So, I think we can write the generalized formula for this pattern that will be T1 is fixed, which is 5. And all the Tns can be found out by adding its previous term to the square of its previous place, which is n minus 1. So, nth term is actually equal to n minus first term plus the square of n minus 1. So, this is the generalized method or the generalized form of the number pattern which was given to us.